Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be looking at the Summer Literary Book Club box. I've only reviewed this one once. So this will be my second time to review it. The first one I thought was okay. It was definitely interesting and different. It's a classic book box subscription. It's kind of similar to Once Upon a Book Club where they encourage you to read to a page before opening some of the items. However, they also have other things in here, maybe quote prints, art prints, and stuff like that. So it is a little bit different and it's also pricier. I can't even remember, I gotta pull it up. So the last time I did a literary book club box, it was during Easter. We had like an Easter golden egg hunt collab and everybody reviewed a book box, or not a book box, everyone reviewed a box that they've never done before on their channel. This is $74.99 a quarter, plus you have to pay shipping. So that's what I mean by it is like 25 more dollars than Once Upon a Book Club, but it is only once every three months. So it's not every single month like Once Upon a Book Club is. It is a literary subscription for old souls. It has classic books in it. The last one was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, I think. Each one will have a classic literature book, gifts that you'll have to unwrap, and stuff to enhance it. Apparently, this week is the week of book boxes because this is like the fourth book box that I've had to review just today while doing my bulk filming. My mouth is already tired from all the reading. Let's go over this. It says, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. I love that quote. I've seen it before on Coffee and a Classic, which I really do miss that book box. This is just to show off our recording if we want to. Mine is gonna be coming out late because this book box has been sitting over there for several weeks and I'm just trying to clear out all of my subscriptions now. I'm finally getting caught up. Oh, I love how this is wax sealed. It gives it an old feel and kind of helps keep with their theme of this box being for old souls and the classic books. I think this just has the description of the product card. I can't remember exactly what's in here. Oh yeah, it's the announcement of the book. That's right, it's the Madame Bovary box. I remember seeing a sneak peek for it. This box features a beautiful Chilton edition of Gustave's controversial novel, Madame Bovary. The realities of married life in the provincial town fall a long way short of Emma Bovary's romantic expectations, and to fill the void, she embarks on reckless affairs and impetuous spending on the luxuries she's always dreamed of. But when her debts are called in, Emma must face reality, and the consequences are tragic. I can't wait to hear what you think of the book, the gifts, and the whole experience. Make sure to tag us on Instagram, the Literary Book Club box. P.S. The list of items in your box is at the bottom of the box. Don't read it until you've opened all your gifts to keep the surprise alive. I like that little note there. I already have a copy of Madame Bovary. I think I got it in a copy in a classic box. I don't know that I'll have time to read it now, but just that little insight to the book makes it sound so much more interesting to me because last time I got it, there was no insert, so I really didn't know what the book was about. This seems like the little bit she put right there makes it sound very interesting. Okay, page 116. This does not have a page number. This says, while you read, page 295. Okay, this one looks like it has more gifts than the last one did. I think the last one only had two. This one already has three, page 75. Okay. Uh, open when the last page has been read. I do remember there being a gift like that in the last one. Open when you need a break from this book. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, the book itself. Wow. Okay, and at the very bottom of the box, like they said, it is a product guide. I will leave that face down and not look at it yet. And the book, oh, this print is so much prettier than the last one I got. It's hard cover for one, and the pages are lined in gold. Oh, it's little and delicate and beautiful. 
Oh, how fun. And then on the back, oh, I think this is exactly what was on that page. So this one did have a little bit of an insight actually on the book compared to the last one I received. I wonder what consequences she had to face and why are they tragic? Somebody die over them? I guess I won't know unless I read it. Let's start with the things that are not pages. Over here, we'll start with quote print. I do remember there being a quote print in the last literary book box. It says, what is better than to sit by one's fireside in the evening with a book while the wind beats against the window and the lamp is burning by Gustav Flaubert. You know, I didn't say that right. I never say anything right. Okay, that's a pretty quote. It does paint a really nice relaxing picture to read by the fireplace. You know, it's windy and cold out there, but you're inside and you're warm and you're lost in a good book. Seems very inviting and makes me want to do that. And I have a fireplace and we've never lit it and it makes me want to light my fireplace. Not today, because it's like 108 degrees outside in Texas, but maybe in the winter. The next item, I'm gonna just move this to the back while you read. Aw, and it's a little snack. Oh, maybe it's tea. It's a tea magnet loose leaf tea that dissolves. And it is like interesting how it's shaped. It's rose earl gray. So it's earl gray tea with rose petals. The next thing in here probably has more paper related stuff. Like I can see a bookmark. I do remember there being a lot of paper editions. In the last one, I was a little disappointed because I felt like there was too many paper things and not enough actual gifts for the price of like $85 after you paid shipping. This one seems to have more, so I wanna see how this one shakes out. It might be a better value than the last one was. Read banned books. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's a cute button, but I mean, I'll never use it. This is a sticker, it says, or maybe it's a book plate from the library of, and then there's a place to put your name, that's cute. We'll get use out of that. Here's another one, it says the same quote that's over here, and the bookmark, I detest common heroes and moderate feelings, the sort that exist in everyday life, Madame Bovary. I think that's all of like the papery things. Next, let's go with page 75. And this one is not like Once Upon a Book Club. It's not gonna tell me exactly what on that page matches up with the gift itself. And I don't have time to actually read it to you guys. So unfortunately, chapter 75 is the, uh, chapter 75. <gasps> oh, it's been a long day, I'm sorry. Chapter nine. The beginning of chapter nine is on page 75. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I like the color. I think that's a nice color. It says Lisa Angel on it. It's like a round jewelry case. How fun, you hardly ever see round stuff anymore and that was totally something that you saw a lot more years and years and years ago, like the round photo boxes, hat boxes. We don't get a lot of that nowadays. Now everything's square. I like this. It's elegant in its own way. It has lots of places for rings, earrings, necklaces. There's even a little bit of a, a, a slot you can put something back there. Page 116 is not the beginning of a chapter. It is in the middle of chapter three. Wow. Wait a minute. How is that possible? How is this one chapter nine? Yeah, chapter nine and then on page 108 it says chapter three. I don't know what's going on in this book. Obviously you can tell that I have not read it yet. I'm gonna stop looking at the book before it confuses me further. Page 116. Oh, okay. So this is like a soap. It's cut in a weird geometrical shape. Surely that has something to do with the book. Okay, so I am getting some scent on it. I have no idea what it is. I'm thinking maybe citrusy scent, but I honestly don't know. Page 295 in this purple baggie. I guess that's another thing that's different is you can just take off the sticker 
instead of the page number actually being printed on the canvas bag like on other subscription boxes. This one, it's not. So if you wanted to reuse the purple one and not have a page number on there, then you can do that. This is some kind of glass bottle. Violet Elixir. It's an all natural flower syrup. Huh. Handcrafted for cocktails and sodas. Four servings. Okay, I honestly don't know if I'll use that. I find it to be an interesting product. I don't know if I'll use it. Let's go ahead and get this one. It says open when you need a break from reading the book before we get to the last item. Oh, so this is a luxe shower steamer of peppermint and lemon infused with pure essential oils. What does the shower steamer actually look like? It's square. Oh, you can smell the peppermint and the lemon gelling together. I don't know if I've seen that combination very much. Peppermint and lemon? You see peppermint and vanilla, you see like lemon and raspberry, but you hardly ever see peppermint and lemon together. Weirdly, it works. Hmm. Awesome. All right, last item. This is one you were supposed to open if you've gotten to the last page. I obviously have not gotten to the last page and I won't have time to get to the last page, so I'm gonna have to cheat on my opening. Ooh, it is aromatherapy jewelry. It's black lava stone bracelet plus lavender and joy essential oils. I have no idea what you do. Are you supposed to put the essential oils on the bracelet? Jewelry that you can experience. Our aromatherapy jewelry is designed with porous lava stone, which absorbs and then gently diffuses essential oils throughout the day. Wow. Black lava stone is warm and grounding and white halite is calming and stress reducing. How to use, add a drop of essential oil using the diffused end of the roll on to black beads. Use with any essential oil you desire. So the Joy essential oil has bergamot, lang lang, geranium, lemon, coriander seed, mandarin, jasmine, palmarosa, and rose oils. And then the lavender is obviously just 100% lavender. I've never seen this product before. I've never seen a combination of jewelry and essential oils. I have seen essential oils before from Bombay and Cedar, but never with a jewelry that can absorb the essential oils and then release them into your body at different times. That sounds very scientific. Has anyone else ever heard of that? Very strange, unique item. I think we've gone through this box. I do think I like the items in this one better than last time. Last time we had like a canvas bag and then maybe something else. I think it was a a book plate kit or something like that where you can where you got book plates and you can put them in your books so it was like your own library. Maybe it was like a library stamping kit. I do remember something like that. I, those are the only two items that I really remember from the last one. This one, I like the items, I think a little bit better. You have more bath products you can use, jewelry case. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I find it interesting nonetheless. And this is very unique, just period. And I'm glad I didn't get another canvas bag. I know that canvas bags are great. I just get way too many of them. And for an $85 box, I feel like a canvas bag is just too cheap of an item to put in a box that expensive. Let me know your thoughts of the summer's literary book club box down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye everyone.